Hey guys, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Craze Vlog. This is too cool! <laughs> wow! The Bro Ball is simply a football with a speaker embedded inside. I know what you're thinking. Why? Well, why not? Football is fun, music is fun, so why not marry the two into one interesting device? The Bro Ball is a product from Invincible Audio and is touted as the only durable, waterproof Bluetooth speaker designed as both a speaker to play music and a football to play catch. The Bro in Bro Ball stands for bringing rhythm outdoors, and that is just what they have done with this product. The Bluetooth speaker has a range of up to 50 yards. It has excellent sound quality according to the product video. It can float and be submerged in the water without damaging the speaker. The ball has even been dropped from high atop a few buildings and survived according to the video. The Bro Ball is currently seeking funds on Kickstarter to start production. It can be yours for the pledge price of $59 and up. If you plan on purchasing Pepper the Emotional Robot from the Japanese company SoftBank, you must sign a piece of paper stating that you will not have sex with it. According to a report on DailyMail.com, the creators of Pepper the Emotional Robot have forbidden users from using it for sexual purposes, creating sexy apps for it, or reprogramming it to stalk people. Pepper sold out almost instantly when it went on sale in June, so I'm sure that this comes as a major bummer to some who bought the robot, and goes against Crave writer Bonnie Burton's beliefs that sex robots are the future and should not be banned. Did I mention that she's married to R2-D2? Make sure you read Bonnie's Crave piece on the subject, then you make the call. Should humans be able to have sex with robots? Yay or nay? <laughs> Researchers have successfully programmed drones to autonomously build a rope bridge that can support the weight of a human being. A research team from ETH Zurich worked in collaboration with the Institute for Dynamic Systems and Control and Grimazio Color Research to program a swarm of drones that could potentially save lives in the near future. The rope bridge was built by the drones in ETH Zurich's Flying Machine Arena and was supported by scaffolding on both sides of the room that acted as the anchors for the drones to secure the rope bridge to. The drones use a special spool of rope attached to the bottom of their frames and communicate with an off-board computer that processes algorithms and translates them into commands, which is then transmitted back to the drones, helping them with the building process. Once the rope bridge was complete, the researchers tested it out with their own body weight to show that the bridge could potentially support a human crossing in a life or death situation. Flying drones are currently being studied for how they can best be used in search and rescue operations, and so far for me, this is definitely a step in the right direction. Swarm of drones to the rescue! Alright guys, that's the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave. And check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is the Zivix Jamstick Plus Portable Smart Guitar. If you want to be a digital guitar hero, go to the blog and enter to win.